Sonic say they have a technological advantage over their competitors. With the linear drives on all axes, fantastic service and support here in the UK. However, they're still improving their machines and Chris tells me that on this occasion, it's revolutionary. So we're here to talk about the ALC 600 and 400i groove wire roader. But Chris, what do you mean by saying it's revolutionary? Welcome back, Lindsay. Um, so basically, this is the new refreshed version of the ALC 600G that we're standing in front of now. The revolutionary side of it is that we've got new wire rotating function on the machines now, which basically means that the wire is spinning to always give us a fresh surface when we're machining during the machining process. Is this new? Has this ever been done before? So this is a brand new system. Um, to my knowledge, there hasn't been any uh, advancements in wire erosion technology for the last 20 years. So this is really revolutionary in more, more ways than one. It certainly is. So what are the benefits of having the wire to spin, to turn? Okay, so if you imagine the wire as it's machining into a workpiece, you're always going to be rotating the wire to have a fresh surface of wire when you're machining the part. This is going to lead to improved machining times, less wire consumption, and also a better surface finish in the part. Okay, and you're talking about less wire consumption. That can be major for a business. So what figures have you got to kind of prove that out? Well, it depends a little bit on how many skin passes you're doing and what sort of surface finish you're looking for in the finished product. But as a rule of thumb, we're looking at 30% saving in wire consumption. And, and where's the improved geometric accuracy here? Because you're talking about a clean cut every time. How does that work? Correct. So as the wire's rotating, you're using a clean surface of the wire, which means you're always going to get the best sparking conditions as you're going through the job which means you're going to be getting the best surface finish and the best accuracy. But this isn't the only technology that you've improved on. You're the step cut technology as well, what's this? That's right. So the ability, when you're machining a workpiece that might have a different height of cutting, the feedback from linear motors is instantaneous, which means as you're going from, example, 100 millimetres to 50 millimetres, the feedback from the wire is going to be immediately sending information back to the CPU and changing the conditions accordingly to give you the best surface finish and the best accuracy. There's more improvements as well, but why is it that Sodic are always improving their machines? So Sodic have always done that. Their name, actually, Sodic, is made up from three Japanese words, meaning to create new ideas, overcome difficulties, and implement those ideas. So they're very much an R&D ethos within the company. Yeah. So they're always looking at what doesn't exist in industry now and then inventing it and putting it out into the market. Exactly, hearing this, the spinning of the wire, I've never ever heard before, it's so exciting. Right, okay, improved dielectric tanks as well. Yeah, so uh, again, uh, another advancement, they've just made uh, three separate sections in the tanks for dirty water, semi-clean and clean. They've also put additional filters in the filtration tank, just again, to be able to uh, make the process cleaner and more effective and more efficient. And thermal compensation. That's right. So. Uh, all of the new machines now have got something called THCOM, which is effectively sensors that are mounted throughout the casting that are constantly uh, sensing the temperature. And then uh, if the temperature rises or falls, it can make compensation to adjust the axes to make obviously more accurate workpiece. And you've got a new control system as well. Correct. Brand new control system, intelligent QVIC, which is the ability to import solid models directly into the control, uh, into the control system, is standard now. Gives the operator the ability to finish the programming in front of the machine rather than doing it from an offline source. Brilliant. And I know that Peter, who is the managing director here, is blown away by this technology and exactly what Sodic are doing with these machines. So ultimately, who's going to go for this and why? What improvements are they going to see with their investment? So anybody that's chasing the Micron really, anybody that wants the best surface finishes available um, or the most accurate work pieces out there. So we have a lot of customers in lots of industries, aerospace, automotive, uh, military and defense. So anybody that wants the, the best job they can. And how do I get my hands on one? So they're all in stock now. This is the official UK launch of it. It's been out in uh, globally for uh, a while now. Um, so, uh, yeah, come and see us. Come and give us a call. Come and see a demonstration and we'll, we'll prove the technology to you.